Two weeks ago, I received a parcel from China. It was sent to me by Sun Founder, which is one of the popular giant Hindi maker market. This kit is one of the starter kit for Raspberry Pi Pico W. The Raspberry Pi Pico W was released almost 6 months ago and has Wi-Fi capability like ESP chips. The ultimate kit has 450 plus components including registers, capacitors, transistors, sensors, modules, breadboard and jumper wires. Using this, you can build 117 projects. Can you imagine 117 projects? It is really awesome. In this guide, we will cover 10 amazing IoT projects using the Raspberry Pi Pico. We will use IoT platforms like ThingsSpeak, Adafruit.io, Blink and Open Weather Map among others. We will also use a web server for a few of the projects. So let's dive deep and see what the top 10 projects are. This video is sponsored by Next PCV and HQ Online. The HQ Online is a one-stop electronic component sourcing platform. HQ Online provides a complete set of electronic component business services. All you need to do is search the electronic component with a part number. As it has a fastest search engine, it will show you the list of all available parts. Add the part to your cart, then place the order. To get started, check the link in the description. In the first project, we will use the ThingsSpeak platform to monitor temperature and humidity data. The DST11 humidity and temperature sensor is connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Using the MicroPython code, we read the sensor data and send it to the ThingsSpeak server. Here, you can monitor the data from any part of the world. The second project on our list is related to the Pi Pico W wireless web server. Using this web page, we can control the RGB LED or three different LEDs. The web page will also display the internal temperature sensor readings. The third project is related to a weather station using the Open Weather Map API. The Raspberry Pi Pico W can be configured with MicroPython code that has API information which retrieves the weather data from Open Weather Map. The weather data can be displayed on a 16x2 IceWatch LCD display. Using this NTP time server, we can display the time and date parameters. In the fourth project, we will use the great IoT platform called Adafruit IO. Using the Adafruit IO dashboard, we can control the NeoPixel RGB LED strip. You can generate any color you want, and by mixing RGB color quantities, you can glow the LED strip with the color you want. The fifth project is related to the web server. In this project, we will use the BME280 sensor to read the temperature, pressure and humidity values using MicroPython code. The readings are displayed on a beautiful web page and the reading is updated automatically after a few seconds. You may replace BME280 with any other sensor. In this sixth project, we will control or relay with IoT. Using the PyPico W web server, we can send on-off commands to control the relay. You can connect any home appliance across the relay and control it using the web page within the same network. In the seventh project, we will use the most popular IoT platform called Blink. Using the Blink application, we can control an LED. When an on-command is sent, through the Blink dashboard, the LED turns on. When an OFF command is sent through the Blink dashboard, the LED turns off. The eighth project is again related to the Blink application. 
In this project, we will monitor the soil moisture parameter using the capacitive soil moisture sensor. We will read the sensor analog data and convert it into a percentage. Then, we will post this reading to the Blink dashboard. You can monitor the soil moisture value from any part of the world and use this project in smart farming. The ninth project is a home automation project using the Blink app and Raspberry Pi Pico W. The Pi Pico W can be programmed to control 4 AC home appliances remotely using the Blink app. For the demo, we used 4 different color LEDs for this project. You may use a relay and control multiple home appliances. The tenth project is again a weather station project using BME 280 sensor. Instead of a web server, we will use the Blink application to post the BME 280 sensor reading. The web server is local and hence can't be monitored from any other networks. But using Blink, you can monitor this online from any part of the world. So that is all for the 10 projects. The code and project details of all these projects are published on our website article. The link to purchase this Sunfounder kit is given the description below. I hope you liked this video. Please comment down below your favorite projects among the 10 projects.